Today, I am going to share three easy keto scrambled eggs recipes. They all make quick, simple, low carb breakfasts that just have a few ingredients each. And I've written a blog post, which I'll leave down below, which actually has seven easy keto scrambled eggs recipes. So click through for that and be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment to let me know your favorite way to enjoy scrambled eggs. And the very first one I'm sharing today is this lovely scrambled eggs with ricotta and spinach. So let me chat you through how to make this super simple breakfast. I'm going to whisk up my eggs with a bit of ricotta and cream and then get them cooking. So just whisk together two to three eggs per person, a tablespoon or two of ricotta and a little splash of cream and we'll just whisk that until we've got smooth and creamy scrambled egg mixture. So you have a nice smooth creamy mixture like that and I've also washed and got ready a couple of handfuls of spinach so that when the scrambled eggs are ready for them I will be ready to just pop them on and mix them through. So now I've got a frying pan on, I'm melting some butter and when it's nice and hot we'll start cooking our scrambled eggs. So I've got loads of butter melted and nice and hot in the frying pan and I'm just going to pour my eggs in. And then it's really a matter of scrambling them until they're almost done and then adding in the spinach. It really doesn't take much time at all and the scrambled eggs are almost there so let's pop over the spinach. Here we go, <laughs> let's pop all the spinach over and then we'll toss it through to welt. So just toss it through to get all the scrambled eggs infused with spinach and then once all of the spinach is reduced and wilted we'll move it into a plate. So there you go, it's done. Beautiful creamy scrambled eggs with ricotta and spinach too. It's such a lovely balanced breakfast that's actually low carb, keto friendly, vegetarian friendly too and a lovely way to start the day. So that is this easy keto scrambled eggs with ricotta and spinach. Keep watching for more. And next I have a super high protein keto tuna breakfast scramble full of all kinds of colorful ingredients. Let me chat you through what's going into it and then show you how to make it. So I've got a tin of tuna here and I'll just make sure you check carefully the tin of tuna that you find. It doesn't have any hidden sugars or weird oils or things in it. So try and find as natural as possible. You can get it in oil if you want to. I just get it in spring water and then add fats with cream and butter and other yummy ingredients. And we've got eggs over there. Use as many eggs as you want. I'm kind of giving you the blueprint here and then you can use as many eggs and as much cheese and other ingredients as you want. I'm making this for myself and my husband. I'm going to use five eggs because that's what I tend to do when I make scrambled eggs or omelets for us to share. And I've got some cheese, some fresh Irish cream just to make it nice and creamy and just beautiful. For vegetables, I'm using spinach and tomatoes because that's what I've got available. So I'm going to get on and prep all my ingredients and chat you through as I make this easy keto breakfast scramble. So the first bit of prep I'm going to do is my eggs. I've got five eggs in here and a whole lot of that beautiful cream and I'm just going to whip it until it's nice and smooth. So I find when I'm making something like a breakfast scramble, you need to have everything prepared before, everything washed and chopped and measured because once the heat goes on, you kind of put it all in an order and you don't really have time to get everything organized. So... Yep, just nice and smooth and thick eggs are done and now I'm going to prep my veggies. So as you saw before, I've got this big bowl of spinach, that's the veggies, I'm going to use spinach and tomatoes, I'm going to chop my tomatoes in a sec, but you can use any low carb veggies you like in this and I've written a blog post where I've got loads of ideas for variations and the full step by step instructions which I'll leave down below, so check that out, pin it, bookmark it, so when you want to make this breakfast scramble, it's right at your fingertips, so spinach is sorted, washed in a bowl ready to use and I'm going to just wash and chop a few tomatoes too. So if you can hear sizzling behind me, I've got butter melting in a frying pan, I've chopped up my tomatoes, I've quartered them, I've counted out four for each of us, chopped them up, so there's eight tomatoes there, use as many as you like. Tomatoes are a little higher in carbs than other vegetables, so I like to use them sparingly but still enjoy them in my dishes. So I'm going to get on first and cook my tomatoes. If you're making a vegetable like mushrooms or zucchini, you might want to get those cooking a little bit earlier so that they've got a bit more time to soften. It's up to you how you want to enjoy your breakfast scramble. So I'm going to soften these a bit and then add all of the ingredients one by one. Butter is melted in the frying pan. We're going to add in the tomatoes. Just get them started cooking and softening. It's so bright in my kitchen. In Ireland it's either super dark 
or super bright. So we've got this beautiful bright morning happening and making a nice sunny breakfast. So I'll just give those about 30 seconds to start softening and then I'm going to add in the tuna to heat up slowly and then get the eggs cooking. It doesn't take long for the tomatoes to start getting nice and soft so we'll toss in our tuna now. Get all the lovely tuna in and I'm going to mix it all through. You want to make sure the tomatoes are cooked through and the tuna is starting to heat through as well. And as soon as you're happy with that, we add in the eggs. See, everything moves really quickly. You can see the tomatoes are starting to just blister a little bit. That is perfect. We're going to add the eggs now and scramble away. There we go. And just let it set for just a second and then start scrambling. And once you think that the eggs are about half set, we add in cheese and the spinach. And see, it doesn't take long at all. It's all starting to set. Yeah, okay, that's beautiful. Add in, it goes quickly, told you, everything needs to be at the ready. We add in our cheese and spinach. Look at all the spinach go in. It all wilts away very quickly, so I like to add loads and loads of spinach to it. And then make sure that you're scrambling it all in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit messy. Yeah, oh, that looks so good already. What a yum, big breakfast. Great way to use up spinach. If you've got a pack of spinach in your fridge and it's messing everywhere, you got a pack of spinach in your fridge that needs to be used, definitely give this a try. You can see the spinach in no time, it's wilted. Everything looks and smells pretty amazing and you can add any cheese, any veggies, really just enjoy your keto breakfast scramble with any ingredients you like. So just cook until everything's cooked through to your liking, the eggs are lovely and creamy and the cheese is melty and gooey and cheesy and then take it off the heat and you could even serve it topped with some feta or any other ingredients you like. It'll all be in the blog post down below. So that's this lovely high protein keto tuna breakfast scramble with lots of nutritious veggies too. So I've just got one more keto scrambled eggs recipe to share with you. And that is scrambled eggs with cheese. I love super cheesy scrambled eggs. Start by whisking up uh, two to three eggs per person, some cream. I also added a bit of feta brine there as well just to add some extra flavor but you could leave that out of course it just makes it super cheesy and pour it into a frying pan and then just scramble it around and of course you could add salt pepper any seasoning you like to taste you'll see very quickly the eggs scramble together and when they're at about this point add on grated cheese cheddar mozzarella any cheese you like and just scramble scramble until all of the cheese is nice and gooey and melted and that is my super simple cheesy scrambled eggs which brings us to the end of this video with three easy keto, keto scrambled eggs recipes it's a mouthful i hope you've enjoyed watching these quick low carb breakfast ideas be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know your favorite way to enjoy scrambled eggs and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which has all of these recipes and more with seven easy keto scrambled eggs recipes. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.